Fitz News just released a new video called New 911 Calls in Micah Miller Saga. It's just under six minutes long and I think it includes three different voicemails. Remember, Micah died April 27th, 2024, so this was just a few months prior. Where's your emergency? Yes, we have some uh, people trespassing on the property. We have some people trespassing on our school and church property. Okay, Eight hundred three Howard Avenue, how many, Market Commons. How many people are on the property right now? I'm headed there now. There's at least three, and we're trying. And we have a school nurse, and we're worried about the safety of the students. Did you get a call from someone on scene? Yes. Okay. And what did they say exactly? Um, they, we've already told the family to not be on the property. The family? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Yes, and they came in the doors. Family. And we have all of the parents of the kids here, so we need assistance right away. Mm -hmm. So wait, so it's a family? Are they, and they're refusing to leave? Yes. I'm going inside right now. Okay. So when you say it's a family, how many, like you said three people? Is it like a... Team? I'm sorry? Right now. So, ma'am. Ma'am. Even with subtitles, I'm having a hard time hearing what she's saying, but it sounds like there's a family of three. You are trespassing. You are trespassing and you got it in writing, ma'am. Ma'am, we're asking you to leave. This is against the law. Out. 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 So she's talking to what sounds like the mother of this family. It doesn't sound like she's directly addressing the dispatcher at the moment, trying to get them to leave without the help of law enforcement. Ma'am. We're asking you all to leave. Hello. Yes. Listen. Yes. Can you please let's 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 them off? Them. Can you, listen. One is listen. Listen. Francis. Ma'am. Are you going to listen to me? Listen, you need to I let, am. you need to let the officers handle it, okay? So we'll get a mail. Certainly will. So it's a male and female? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's a male and female yeah, and their child. To you. Well, it's getting ready to be given to you right now. Ma'am. Stop talking to them. The officers will come and handle the confrontation. And she's still, again, talking to them, regardless of the advice. Can you please talk with me and not them for a moment? <laughs> yes. She says, don't talk to them. She says, all three of them? Yeah. <laughs> please ask them no trespassing, sir. Okay. Police are here. Oh. Thank you so oh, much. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. Yeah, we have kids here. Okay, now. so there, there should be an officer on scene. Do you see yeah, him? here now. All right, I'm going to yeah, let you go. All right. And he's been here before. Okay, okay. all right, bye. And that officer has been there before. This isn't his first time. Jumping right into our second voicemail. This one is coming from JP. I believe this is the one I've heard before. Um, so if you want to skip ahead a little bit, that's fine. You may have heard it too. For others, it might be new, new information. Murder Beach Police and Fire, this is Ashley. Hey, Ashley. I am being uh, harassed on social media okay. uh, as well as... Um, um, people texting, uh, this, this, this family's texting horrible, horrible lies about me and going to people's work saying things about me and trying to extort me and all this other stuff. Who would I talk to about this? Okay, where, uh, where are you located when this is occurring? Um, and, oh, okay. So that's kind of my home base of, of where this is happening. Gotcha. This is happening. Sure. And do you know these people that are doing this or is it just sort of like rumors spreading around? Yes, it's, it's my, yes. No, no, it's, it's my wife and her family, or soon to be ex wife and okay. uh, her family. All right. And what's your name? Hold on for me. One. Myrtle Beach Police and Fire, are you having an emergency or can you hold? What's your guy's name? I can hold. And a phone number to get you back at. Um. Alrighty. And are you available shortly to take a call from one of our officers? Yes, I am. All right. Wonderful. They'll be in touch with you. Thank you. So of course. Take care. She passed away a few days ago, and some of her belongings are in an apartment um, in um, at Market Commons. 
and the lady that owns the apartment won't let me get that stuff. Is there anyone have a police officer meet you there so I can just get a few of her belongings? Okay. Where, what's the address? Okay. Is there a reason why they're saying that you can't get the Yeah, um, I'll just have you meet in front of the building. Is there a reason why they're saying that you can't get the belongings? Uh, yeah, it's the old lady that, that has the apartment, and she just doesn't like me. She just, she just, just doesn't like me. <laughs> okay. And who is the person that passed you? Like, uh, my wife. Okay. Alrighty. And what's it, a good callback number for you? Remember, Micah and JP were living separately before she died. JP was struggling to get into Micah's apartment after she passed away because the landlord or whoever was in charge of those apartments wouldn't let him in what JP was trying to get his hands on, whether that was Micah's Apple Watch or her laptop. All right, and I'll just have you wait in front of the building to see his officers, okay? Okay. All righty. I'll go ahead and send up there. Are we, are we hanging up? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And, and let me ask you, yeah. so this is something they'll do. They'll let me get her stuff. Yeah, I'll have them meet with you, and they'll, they'll direct you on what you need to do. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to play a snippet from this audio clip, and ironically enough, it's from CJ's Crime Concepts, which allegedly that's who Miss Becky was talking about when she called the Robbie Harvey and was saying that her daughter was obsessed with content creators. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure CJ's reacted to my own videos as well, so hi. <laughs> I'm not accusing anybody of anything without any evidence, but I thought it was really like, is Miss Becky about to accuse her daughter of giving me a blow? I dare her. Anyway, we're going to play a clip from his channel. It's called Micah's 911 Call for Wellness Check on Home, Laptop, and Personal Pictures. So this gives a little context of what might have been inside of Micah's apartment. Hello? Where can I dispatch, Wolfson? Hey, da uh, Officer Wilson. Do you see how, like, personal it sounds? It sounds like Micah's almost called so many times. She's like, hey! Me again. It also kind of sounds like she's not calling 911 directly. Kind of sounds like she has a direct number to an officer. That's why it just seems so informal. How can I help you? I'd like to do a wellness check, Officer Wilson. Okay, what's the address? It's Coldwater Circle. What city? Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What is, what's your name? What's the callback number for you? And, and what's the, your the first initial of your name, just so that whenever I call back, I get the right, Officer Wilson? Uh, I'm not a police officer. You can just ask for anybody. Uh, what was the address one more time, please? Coldwater Circle, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 29588. Okay, can you tell me exactly what happened? Yeah, there's a laptop there that's got naked pictures of me on it, and uh, there's some people staying at my house that I didn't invite into my house, and I'm out of town, so I'm just hoping there would be a wellness check and make sure there's no cars parked at my house that I don't recognize the license plate of, or if you could just take down those license plate numbers for me to review later, just to do a wellness check, and also maybe even pursue the property that I'm saying has naked pictures of me on it. Okay, I can have an officer give you a call. Um, I mm -hmm. don't know exactly what they can do. So where are you located at right now? Bucky's Gas Station in Florence. Florence? Okay. Okay, you'll probably have to make a Yeah, I just want to make sure that that laptop back. just doesn't end up in the wrong hands. I'm doing my best to find the date that this phone call took place. Just based on all the investigations so far, I would make a guess probably between February and March, maybe early April of 2024 this phone call was made. I also wonder who's in her house right now that's not supposed to be. It also sounds like she's talking about more than one person being at her house. So who has the laptop with your pictures on it? Uh, it's in my home, but I currently have guests staying at my home that 
I did not invite there. Um, and so I'm kind of concerned that while I'm out of town, they might use that laptop for malpurposes. Uh, I don't, I don't 100% know who's there right now, but if it's who I think is there, maybe my husband's son who hit on me the other day in my kitchen without my husband there. And I, I told him flat out, this isn't appropriate and you need to leave. And that's on record because he texted my husband and I told my husband what happened. I'm sorry. And no. he might be staying at my house. And um, my husband's sister's been staying with us. And I did not invite her to stay with us. And I don't trust her further than I can throw her. Okay, so she's worried that... Wait a minute. Was what this when the neighbors were talking about, like, Wayne, a Reginald Wayne Miller staying at the house and Lacey staying at the house and then some other kid that was riding four-wheelers that might, might be a little mentally, not, not unstable, but what was the word? Not my words. Somebody said it. Could that be JP's son who's riding the ATV wheelers around? And then you have Wayne and then you have Lacey, which Micah's saying that she didn't trust Lacey as far as she could throw her. <gasps> Oh my gosh! I wonder if Micah's talking about JP's family here uh, being at her house and she doesn't trust that they won't put their hands on her stuff. Property that has naked pictures of me on it. I'll have an officer give you a call because I don't know exactly what they're going to be able to do. I mean, okay. your husband invited them into the house. Right, but it's my house as well. It's my dwelling right. and I did yeah. not invite I'll, them to be there. Okay, I'll have an officer give I you a call. I just need a wellness check. Able. Yeah, I just need a wellness check, take the license plate of anybody that's there right now because I might not recognize them and they might be invited into my home without me while I was away. But I just want to make sure nothing weird is going on in my house and also to retrieve property that's got naked pictures of me on it. Okay. Like I said, and I'll actually, have there's, the two okay. there's two like laptops. There's two laptops that have naked pictures. Okay. okay, like I said, I'll have the officer give you a call and see what they're able to do, okay? So there's two laptops. We saw JP had two phones. I mean, they've got, like, two of everything, huh? Are both laptops there? When Regina Ward gets her hands on the Apple Watch, is she going to get the Apple Watch and both the laptops? Because Micah just confirmed that there are two laptops. Let me know what you guys think below. I'm doing some more research tonight for some upcoming videos, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Please consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any new videos, and while you're down there, there, leave a like and I'll see you in my next one.